All right, so I won't keep you too, too long, but um, basically what I've learned um, in the past, I guess before I get into my short story here of what happened today, um, is I, I've i learned something from Jim Rohn lately called the law of averages. And the law of averages is basically what it is, right? It's about finding your average, finding, so just to give you kind of a quick example, I, I speak with 10 prospects and out of every 10 prospects, I have one person interested in my business. Okay, so let's say that that's... So if I talk to 10 people, I know that out of 10 people, I'm gonna have one person show interest in my business. You know that I talk to 10, one's interested. I talk to 10, one's interested. After about a month, maybe two weeks, depending on on your skills, on where you're at, your ratio will go up because, because your skills are getting better, right? You're getting better at it. You're getting more comfortable with it. You're maybe doing a bit of study on the side. You're learning some new skills and so you're getting better. Maybe next month your law of average is two out of 10. Maybe in the next year it'll be three to 10, which three to 10 is actually a really good ratio. And so, so that's how I'm approaching things these days. Instead of saying, oh, maybe this person will say yes, or oh, maybe this person will say no, I don't care. They can say yes, they can say no, that doesn't even matter anymore. What matters is getting your average. Find out what it is. Find out how many people I have to talk to to find that one person. So if it's 10 people, right, go talk to 10 people and get your one person who's interested. Talk to 10 people, get a person interested. Improve your skills. Now you have two out of 10, three out of 10, and so forth, okay? This is a powerful principle because now you're not limiting who you're speaking to because you know if I talk to 10 people, one person will be interested. And so that's the law of averages. Now, now today I'm going to Tim Hortons with my mom and with my niece, oh, and my daughter. So we go there for a, for a pack of Timbits for my daughter, and well, and for my niece, uh, a bit for me too. <laughs> I won't lie. And uh, what happened is I seen someone there who worked there that I hadn't seen in about three years. So we acknowledge that we know each other and, and, and that we've worked together. And uh, I was surprised actually to still see her working at Tim Hortons. But um, I mean, maybe she's happy, maybe she's not, but she's really good at what she does. Uh, I know that much. But here's what happened. We got into a little bit of a conversation, which, people, which is what people do, right? When they don't see each other for a long time. And what I did was, I actually took out my card and I said, this is what I do now. Okay, this, that is all I said was, I took out a card, I said, this is what I do now. She looks at my card and she says, oh, well, what is it you do? And so I was able to, to just kind of tell her a little bit, very quickly, very brief. I mean, basically, I, I told her that I share a 90-day challenge. That's all I said to her. And she said, oh, wow, that's great. And then I said, yeah, my mom's actually taken the challenge and she's lost like 7.5 inches of total body fat. It's working great for her. And so that, that right there was a very non-offensive, very natural way to introduce my business to a person, to make that exposure. That business card could have been a CD, could have been a DVD, maybe a book, something to introduce your business to them. Now, the only thing that I did wrong was that I didn't get her phone number. I didn't get a, a means of following up with her, which was my mistake. But I didn't even realize I did this till I left Tim Hortons. It just came so naturally for some reason all of a sudden. And so that is my uh, so easy, anyone can do it strategy for prospecting. It's you don't go out to prospect, you prospect while you're out. I think it was Michael Klaus who was actually saying that. And uh, it's so true, right? Don't make an effort to go out to find prospects, but while you're out, find prospects, right? Find your law of averages, work with the numbers, find uh, an easy, non-offensive way to do it, and just take daily consistent action. So find your law of average, take consistent action, and seriously, there's prospects everywhere. So you can never run out of prospects, whether it's online or in person, there's, they're all over the place. People are suffering, they are, they're going through some economic, some emotional, spiritual, um, physical challenges in their, in their lives that I know that you have something that you have your hands on right now that can help them in some way, shape, or form. And so get out there, do your prospecting, 
while you're out doing your groceries, when you're out getting a pack of Timbits, I mean, whatever it is, you're gonna encounter kind of with people, make it productive, make it worthwhile. This is what I do. <laughs> I mean, it's that simple. So take care for now. That's it, that's all I've got for you. And uh, we'll see you next time.